A lot of talk about Manchester City and a lot of players going out. We're learning that uh, Maris will have a contract extension at City. Was this the right decision out of those three, Stevie, to keep Maris? Yeah, I think so. Um, he's, he's produced maybe more than, more than Sterling. Um, he's not unhappy. He's more than happy to stay. Right. So, you know, if you've got a, if you've got a choice between, between two players, one who's unhappy and who's scoring goals, yes, mm. and you've got another player who can't wait to stay, right. who, who, in my opinion, over the course of the season, has outdone Sterling, then it's an absolute no-brainer. And you're getting what? 60 million? Give me the pen. <laughs> Give me the pen. What's the pen again? <laughs> Give me the pen. What's it called? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, <laughs> It's a lot of syllables. It. It's a lot of syllables. It, I, I actually don't believe him, because it can't be that. Pen's three letters. It can't be that nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jan, yeah. make yeah. it up your journey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fountain yeah. pen. No, no, no. Uh, Jan, do you agree? Yes, I think uh, Maritz is one of those signings that uh, Guardiola's doing well. I mean, it's easy to say that Guardiola got all the money in the world and he can get all the... The players he won, but Maris it, it was a very good signing for them. And if Sterling is a bit unhappy, maybe Guardiola at the beginning made him a better player. But if it's tight to 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 get some money for him and, and an English player, England national player, he will will get big offers for him. So of these four, you take away Sterling and Jesus. I think that <laughs> I won't I won't put them very modest today. I won't put me on the same podest as uh, uh, Pep Guardiola, but I, I would say that is the right decision to keep Foden and Maris, yes. 31, Ali. Yeah, but I, I think a player like Riyad Maris, he's got something different about him. And I think he probably has a couple more years of real, true productivity. When you look at players at Manchester City and you have all the guys that like to knock the ball around, you also need somebody who's willing to take players on a 1v1 situation. They don't have many of those. Riyad right. Mahrez is that guy. He can take you to the, to the inside. He can take you to the outside. He does so comfortably. So he breaks people down on his own. He doesn't need all the passing game around him in order to be able to break defenders down. So I do think that because you want something different and variety in the, in the attack, you keep Riyad Mahrez. Uh, that's like... Always oh, seen a mention at the moment. It's so busy uh, in July. The number of transfers that look like they're going to be happening. To keep up to date with all the latest, go over to the website and check out Transfer Talk. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.